What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3 in Kappa Mode. So guys, last episode, we were messing around with overloaded mod ever so slightly. We were checking out the hyper sender and hyper receiver. You guys have pointed out to me in the comments that I was doing it wrong, of course, since we didn't get it to work. And you said that I needed to use an energy extractor. Well, upon further investigation, it seems that we need to use... Um, this energy extractor, this has to be on whatever device has all the power, so our reactor, right? And then that has to go into an infinity capacitor. So this will extract into an infinity capacitor, so we're going to need one of those. And then from the infinity capacitor, we can send out of the capacitor using a hyper sender and then receive on the other end here at our draconic energy ball and then we just gotta link the two with this card so we're missing the piece that goes right here which is an infinity capacitor okay so an infinity capacitor requires a lot of stuff here i'm not sure how difficult this is i haven't actually looked at the recipe yet, but it looks like we should be able to do most of this so these basic induction cells um yeah there's no emc so we do have to craft those so how many are we looking at so that's Four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So sixteen of them. It's kind of a random scattering of them. We need some advanced circuits. All right. Well, let's tell the system to start crafting some of these things. So it's like four of those advanced circuits. All right. And then the other things were basic induction cells. That's the provider. That's a cell. So we needed, I think, sixteen of those. Is what I said. So we'll do that. Okay. Uh, Autotic capacitors of EMC, energized of EMC, regular capacitors. We need four of those. And I think those are actually kind of fast. I'll just do 10 of them just so we have a little bit of extra. Oh, I guess we need the cyan plastic before we can do that. So let's grab some cyan plastic. That would be this button. Might as well just grab 10 of them like I said I was going to do just so we have some extras. All right, so that's in there and 10 of those. This crafting is going a little bit laggier this episode than it was last because I learned the Tome of Knowledge. Mm hmm Uh, because we have some EMC things that we needed to get out of the system that we don't know about yet. So try and make it easier on myself. So we need four HV capacitor. Oh, whoops. I guess it was already on that screen, right? So four HV. And then four of these, I guess 10 of those now. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, oh no. We already have like all of these things here. Let me just grab a bunch of capacitors. I'm not actually sure which ones we need energized. Okay, anything else here that we need? Uh, so the induction cells in the Frisian. Induction. Frisian. All right, I think we should have about everything now, hopefully. So that's for the infinity capacitor. Oh, no, no, <laughs> we're missing the advanced circuits. All right, well, let me get the rest of this stuff. All right, so everything is now in my inventory. Uh, we need some energy cords that had EMC and the stellar capacitor that has EMC. So easy, easy. And there we go. There's an infinity capacitor. I'm not sure if there's a quest. Okay, there is a quest. <laughs> I was going to say, I wasn't sure if there was a quest for that, but apparently there is. So we had to do this anyway. So our setup should now be looking like this. So let's give this a go over here and see if we can transfer the rest of this power into our energy ball and then get rid of this ugly keyboard that we've had there for the last few episodes anyway. Uh, so let's place this here and then that'll go into an infinity capacitor. Maybe. And that is supposed to go to an energy sender and that into an energy receiver. And then we're gonna have to link these obviously. Okay, so card. So we have that bound, and then if I click this, does this work? Recorded world position. So that's the sender. That's the receiver. Did it did it happen? 
It doesn't look like things are happening. So maybe I have still done something incorrectly. Um, let's see here. So that has no power. Let me get rid of this. This still has power in it. So yeah, I thought this was the way to do it, but apparently there's still something else that I'm missing. Energy amount bound to receiver. And that's right here, right? 857 minus 154. That looks correct. Hmm. I thought this was how to do it. So let me just take a moment here and see if there's anything else that I'm missing. Well, I can't get the infinity capacitor to get power from the energy extractor. But if I put it directly on the power port, it seems to be getting power out of it. I'm not sure if this is faster or not than the way we've been doing it, but let me try placing this guy here and then linking it. And it seems like we are not sending power as fast as what we were doing before. Um, if I get rid of this. So that says that we are using 178,000, okay, um, 374, so yeah, this, there's something about this, I think it would work, does this store power in it? I'm not actually sure, did I just lose all that power? Yeah, all that power is gone, um, I'm not actually sure. To be honest, if that's the way that's supposed to go, the way I understood is that this energy extractor is supposed to remove all of the power that's in there uh, in one go or every few seconds or something and then put it into the infinity capacitor, but it does not appear to be extracting any power. So, yeah, either there's some kind of mod incompatibility here or I am still doing it wrong. Either way, I think I'm done messing with this for now. Well, with that figured out, now that we have completely failed at that two episodes in a row, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and move on to the other overloaded items here. So we have the Infinity Barrel and the Infinity Tank. I'm not sure if these are going to be really expensive, and it looks like they're fairly expensive. So the Infinity Barrel, let me go and bookmark that, and the Infinity Tank. Bookmark that one. Let me get rid of the capacitor. So the barrel... Uh, constant tan that has EMC, 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 transistors we can make all day long, large storage is EMC, titanium wafers, that's not, item core is, alright, so it looks like out of this, titanium wafer is the only thing that we don't have that's EMCable, and we don't have a recipe for that, so let's go ahead and make a recipe for titanium wafers. So that should be fairly straightforward. I know this is going to be a processing pattern. So in order for us to do that, we need a titanium ingot, which is EMC. That goes in with raw silicon and a redstone torch. I don't remember how these recipes are set up. Uh, let me grab the silicon that we're actually using. Yeah, actually, let's leave that alone for a second. So where do we have our galactic craft stuff? It's over here, right? So this is set up to always have silicon and then we put in so the titanium and the torch and the redstone i guess are the three items that we're going to need so we can adjust this recipe so that is all we need to make three of these so let's go ahead and encode that and that goes into a circuit fabricator circuit fab right here all right so if i tell to make titanium wafers we should be able to get it actually how many do we need I should tell it to make that many. Uh, so two, four, six, eight. So I need to do three recipes of it, I guess. Eight. All right. So let's start that up and then we'll go over here and make sure everything's working correctly, which it should be. Yeah. So we got three of that, three of that, three of that. All right. So that's going to make the items. And while that's doing that, let's take a look at the other recipe here. So this is for the infinity tank. Oh, you know what? These have EMC. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, we can craft them, but since they have EMC, let's just do it this way. Infinity. Infinity barrel. Infinity tank. Wow, that was like super hard crafting, guys. <laughs> All right. 
Well, I know we're gonna need some of those wafers for later. I don't know if we're gonna need titanium wafers for anything else. Oh yeah, we do need that anyway for making Chaos Catalyst. So spending the time making those is actually worth it because we do need them later on. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> so we got both of those quests complete now. Let's take a look at what else do we got here. Uh, everlasting electricity. So this is infinite energy from magnetic craft. All right, this might be something worth setting up. Now, how much of this is something that we cannot EMC? So the heavy tungsten plates, we need, I guess, eight of those. Let's go ahead and do that. Heavy tungsten. I know that takes a minute to craft up, so the faster we get those going, the better it's going to be for us. So we got those cooking up. Uh, we need creative essences, apparently. Creative essence. We need four of those. Is that... I don't remember what that all takes. Oh, that's easy. Okay. So creative essences, ultimate control circuits are EMC. Infinity, we have steel rods are EMC. That's EMC. Hyper diamond. I know we made hyper diamond previously. Oh, yeah, we got four of those. Awesome. I don't remember how we did that. I think you explode diamonds and TNT blast or something. So that's EMC flux electrum gear. We need eight of those. And we don't have a recipe for that, but I guess we could just go ahead and set up a recipe for that right now. So flux electrum gears should be a pretty straightforward thing. Actually, is that right? Do we want to do it that way? Yeah, four. We'll do it this way. Uh, gear. And that goes here. So flux electrum and we needed eight of those. Craft that. All right. Um, anything else in here that we need that's like, we have lunar dust, that's EMCable, that's EMCable, that's EMC. The crystal tine components, we need two of those. And we should be able to do that, I do believe. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to gather the rest of the materials together, wait for everything else to finish up here, and then we will be back to make this item. All right, so we have everything in our inventory right now to make this thing, except for two of these crystallized zinc, which should be finishing up any second now, and there it is. Awesome. So that's the only thing that we were missing that was a little weird from this that we couldn't just make through EMC or auto crafting. Um, so now we have everything, and there it is, infinite energy. Sweet. So now that we have that guy, I'm not sure if it's really necessary for us to change out the power system that we have here. Although, it might make sense to use it. Currently, we're using, what are these things? The pyro something or others? I can't think of the name of them. Anyway, so we have uh, thermal piles. So we're using liquid starlight on two sides and like fire water on two sides to do the heat difference. And that's going into battery blocks, three of them, which is powering only this compressor or whatever hydraulic press i think is what this thing is yeah that's pretty much the only thing that's using magnetic craft power so maybe it's not worth swapping over to this is this used for another recipe maybe i'm looking at uses for this infinite energy and there is no use on this and if i place this what does this look like it just doesn't have any interface either so i mean i guess i could just stick it right here on the side of the hydraulic press but it's really it's really not necessary, all things considered. If we were using more things from Magnetic Craft, then maybe. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and stick that in our Applied Energistic System. Probably never to be used. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, everlasting Tank. So a Creative Fluid Tank. That sounds expensive. Uh, let's take a look at this. So that requires some stuff here. Okay, more Infinity Tanks, Fluid Tanks. Ultimate fluid tanks, dynamic, vacuum, all of this stuff is pretty simple. Now, osmium clump, so that's a purification chamber with, a, okay, um, and that requires oxygen. Is there another way for us to do that? Do I know we have like 5x or something around here. So we have chemical washer, infuser... Electrolytic separator. Yeah, I guess we're not doing the clumps anywhere. I was kind of thinking that maybe we could stop the process somewhere here. So we are doing 
the sulfuric acid and turning into the slurry, and then cleaning the slurry, and then we're getting these crystals. But it wants a different thing. Uh, I didn't bookmark that, did I? Let me get back into here. Bookmark this guy, get rid of that, this, that, osmium clump. Yeah, so we need a purification chamber. I'm not actually sure that we have one, but getting the oxygen will be easy enough. You can actually, looks like, just use flint to do that. So, yeah, that'll be quite simple. Is there anything else in here that we need to do? Anything? So six more of the creative essences. That should be fine. Yeah, I guess the osmium clumps are the hardest part of this. Everything else seems to be EMC or something that we can just spawn in. All right, well, let me grab these materials and then we'll be back. All right, so I should have a good portion of everything in my inventory that we need to proceed here. So I just made a purification chamber and we're going to give this an elite tier installer to turn into a factory. Can you not do this? Uh, I thought you could do this. So we have the elite. Oh, do you have to? Okay, I think you have to tear up each specific one. For some reason, I was thinking the installers did it uh, all the way to that level, but I think you have to do the basic and then the advanced and then the elite. Okay, so there we go. Uh, this has full power because it's sitting on the energy pylon here, and then we can do all of this. So I'm going to need a bunch of flint. Flint probably isn't the best way to do this, but it's an easy way to do this to keep or to get oxygen, according to the, the recipe book anyway. <laughs> uh, so we'll do that, and then we need, what was it, osmium? Okay. And we needed a total of eight clumps, so maybe it's just uh, four ores that we need. I'm not actually sure, so probably out of sort. There we go. Yeah, that should be good. Let's grab some more flint just to make sure that we don't lose the oxygen that we need. And there we go. Okay, so we got more than what we needed in there. Perfect. And then I'll just go ahead and remove this because I don't think we're going to have any other use for this. All right, so then we also had these basic fluid tanks and we needed to upgrade these. And I think you have, I think you can only upgrade these by using the ultimate tier installers. And in fact, I might need to do the other tiers first as well okay well yep yeah. uh tier installer so i need six of the these are already basic so six of the advanced one two three four five six there we go uh do i have auto refill oh dang it's doing the wrong one why would it do that oh no so then i'm gonna need six of the elite ones as well so let's grab that Tier installer, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if there's a way, I guess uh, I should just turn this off since, well, I guess it'll be fine when I get to the other tier. Uh, I don't know if there's a way that you can craft these directly. There might be a recipe for that, but I figured this would probably be the simplest way, but apparently, apparently not. All right, and then I'll just vein mine those. There we go. So now do we have everything to make this? It looks like, whew. All right, so create a fluid tank. That actually isn't too bad of a recipe, at least not for us at this point in the game, but that EMC really, really makes it super simple. All right, so we'll put all of these extra bits away. Create a fluid tank. Currently, I don't think there's anything that we need creatively from a fluid, but if we do need something in the future, I don't know, Molten Infinity or Chaos or I don't know. Yeah, we can definitely do it that way. So that would be pretty cool. Um, everlasting Overloaded Power. A Creative Generator. Oh, you know what? I never even looked at any of these recipes. So I wonder if the Creative Generator would just fill up our energy ball immediately. I'm not sure. Well, anyway, we need thermoconducting alloy. I feel like we just made that the other day. Extreme alloy, boron, arsenide. Boron, arsenide. So we'd only have three of those. That's not a whole lot. Uh, let me bookmark this. That's a problem. Or it's going to be a problem if I don't do that. I'm trying to find all these different recipes. So sparks, more creative essence, that thermoconducting, EMC, EMC, infinity, Enchanted ingot. I don't know if we have any of those. 
I know downstairs we should have the thing to make them though, right? This guy. So the enchanted ingot is made and we need eight of them. That is made in the enchanter with a gold and a lapis. That's real simple. Gold and lapis. I'll just make a full stack while we do other things because it's not doing anything else. So might as well. All right. And I know that can be tick accelerated. Um, high voltage. Yeah, I think this is all relatively straight. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Nope. Nope. I did miss this. So we need two rainbow generators. Rainbow generator is made with the top and the bottom half. And those require us to have these guys, which are all EMC able. So actually that's rather simple. And then the resonating redstone. I, oh, we have 30 of those. Okay. Yep. So we're good to go. Uh, anything else in here that I'm missing? I think that's it. Let me go ahead and get the rest of these parts together and then we'll be back. Aha, uh -huh. there was something that I missed. They threw some chaos ingots in here. We need four of those in order to do that. And the chaos ingots are going to require these chaos catalysts, which requires our infinity catalyst and the ultimate singularities and all this stuff. So we are kind of holding off on that for right now. Yeah, I was going to make this, but the chaos ingots are going to make that a little impossible for us to do right now. We're currently trying to collect all of those singularities. Let me go to the right thing here. Uh, we're trying to collect 1,408 singularities of each type in order for us to make the creative planks for the creative chest. And I don't really want to use any of these singularities until we can do that. So we still need roughly 300 more of the ones that we're spawning in. 300 more singularities are the ones that we're spawning in. Uh, before we can even start to consider that, well, I guess we do have 31 ultimate singularities, so I guess, you know, <laughs> 270 more-ish. Anyway, you understand what I'm saying here. Um, so, yeah, we're going to put this on hold. The rainbow generator, that was fairly straightforward to do. I was going to use EMC to do it. Unfortunately, the generator block from extra utilities is kind of shared between different items. I guess it's not showing here now. The furnace generator, for instance, like if we learn that, it only shows this machine block. I think we've looked at this before since underneath the title where it says furnace generator says extra utils to colon machine. That's what this says too. The only difference is the NBT data on it. Yeah, so unfortunately that doesn't work. I tried uh, using this energy condenser to do it, but it made these machine blocks here that have like this red X on the texture. Yeah, NBT zero tags, and it still just says machine. I can't place this block down and it doesn't do anything, so yeah, unfortunately couldn't do that. So I had to make a whole bunch of furnace generators and then manually craft everything. Not a big deal, but we can go ahead and make two of these rainbow generators and have those for later. Kind of cool. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, we're gonna have to put that one on hold and until we can do the creative chest. I mean, we could do it now, but then that's just gonna make us take longer to get the other point. So I guess what I need to do is go through these and make sure what I'm gonna craft doesn't require kiosk ingots. This one doesn't appear to, and everything here seems like this is relatively tame. There's just a lot of infinity ingots. Boiler. The only thing I don't know is these guys, these materializers, and that looks easy. Yeah, that's all EMC-able. Cinnabar, Luminizer from Batania. I mean, that's doable. We can't do it right this second because not EMC, but yeah, we have everything that we can do that with. Anything else in here that I'm not seeing? I think we should be able to do this. Some creative essence. Okay, I'm going to get these parts together then. Okay, so a couple things to note on this particular item, this reactive creative, the reactor creative coolant port. This thing does require four of these materializers, and each one requires a liquid antimatter bucket. We had like 19 or 20 buckets of the stuff, so we're still good on that. And then we have the creative tank where we can make all of it. Anyway, um, and the other thing to note, this red string does require ender air, which does not have EMC, and we had... I don't know, like 15 or so in the system. So we were fine on that as well. Yep. So we were able to make that. So we should be good to go 
to make the reactive creative reactor creative coolant port. That's hard to say for some reason for me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, now we have that guy. Yet another creative item done. Super awesome. Is that used in anything else? It is used in a future recipe. That's to make a turbine creative steam generator. Okay. Uh, we don't really care about power, but we will eventually make this, I guess. Is that the next item on the list? I haven't even looked. Creative steam generator right there. Okay, well, is there anything in this that I'm not seeing that's going to be difficult? So turbine housing, ultimate. I mean, these are all EMC. Silver turbine dyna dynamo coil. What is that? Silver. HSLA steel, so that might be something we'll have to look at. Tough alloy and silver, and HSLA is carbon manganese blend. I think we have HSLA. Yeah, we have over a stack of that. Okay, so we needed four of those, I do believe. Let me go back. Oh, you know what? I didn't bookmark this again. Ah, let's do it. Bookmark that. Get rid of all this other stuff. And it was four of those. Yeah, four of those. Awesome. So eight more creative essence, some fluoride, uh, vilamite. I don't know what this is. What is this? So this comes from the crushed version in a pressurizer. And that comes from granite. Interesting. I think we had a rock crusher set up over here. Did this? Yeah, this right here. And we've done... I think this is how we got the boron or something. Anyway, so granite. Go and throw that in there. That didn't have EMC, did it? No, none of that has EMC. Okay, so we got three of these so far, and then we have to put that into the pressurizer. Do we have... We must have a pressurizer somewhere. It's been so long since I've messed with these things. Oh, we have another rock crusher here, apparently. Uh, maybe we don't. So the pressurizer, that should be relatively straightforward for us to craft. So I just need to get four advanced plating, craft those up, and that should be a pretty quick craft as well. All right, so there is that. And then we're going to want the energy, uh, energy upgrade, I think is what they're called, from nuclear craft, and speed upgrade as well these guys yeah all right and then i guess we'll just find a home for that so this is a cable facade so we are having a plate energistics there we don't have it right here and i don't know that's way concrete conduit facade so i guess we'll just place this guy right here put the upgrades in and then i need to get myself i don't know what kind of conduit we're using here can i grab the ender i can i can i see it with this no i need the ender io one or a conduit I think we're using still the green ones, but let's take a look. Yeah, we're just using those. That's fine. So that'll get power. Uh, that goes into here, and then there is those items. How many of those do we need? We needed two of them. All right, so we are good. I think everything else in here is relatively easy, just needs a little bit of crafting. So let me get to it, and then we'll be back. So this did require some fluorite, which we had in the system. Uh, the steam dynamos don't have EMC, but all the parts for it does. So that was real simple as well. Anything else in here of note? Mm, yeah, we did have to make a recipe for the carbon wafer, which I did. And that just required comparators. Uh, again, that's all EMCable and set up the same exact way. So pretty straightforward. All right. So there we go. There is our turbine creative steam generator from extreme reactors. So again, this is another item that's used for making more power. And I think with our ball here, already 27% complete, we are pretty good on power. Like we are never going to come close anywhere to touching the amount of power that's in there. Like even 1% of power in that thing is ridiculous, <laughs> let alone the amount that we have right now. So again, that is just going to go into our applied energistic system and we'll get the quest completed here um so everlasting grid power this is actually kind of interesting but it does require some things here so again most things have emc and 
Oh, that requires an actual unstable ingot, huh? I wonder if that'll use a stable, unstable one. Usually you can interchange those, but that just says unstable only, so it might not. 2x compressed obsidian. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think we're probably going to hold off on crafting any more things. Creative energy cell for applied energistics would also be nice. So we don't ever have to worry about uh, running out of power, which, I mean, technically we don't. But, like, if I were to change something and move things around, we lose power for a bit. Like, this would always keep it powered. Um, creative compression. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else in here that has chaos ingots. And so far, it was just that other, that other piece... Was that one the everlasting overloaded power do these guys down here the everlasting guilt oh, okay so this is combination crafting so i need to set up a whole bunch of things to accept i think we set up the combination crafting somewhere didn't we i feel like we did oh it's right here <laughs> yeah we're gonna need a whole lot more of these pedestals in order to do that many items so that'll be something we'll have to look at in the future as well. And then finally, the Everlasting Ember. I think that's also combination crafting. Yeah, so you know what, guys? I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. We knocked out a few different creative items today. We did the Infinity Capacitors, the Barrel of the Tank. We did the Everlasting Electricity from Magnetic Craft. We got the Everlasting Tank from Mechanism. And both of the creative items from Extreme Reactors. I would say that's a pretty good episode for today. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.